The day goes by as a nice gust of crisp air brushes the riverbank. Once upon a time, a yellow crab and a pink-faced monkey played along the riverbank in Japan. Upon their playtime, both the yellow crab and the pink-faced monkey stumble upon some discoveries. Look, a rice dumpling! I found an apple seed! That's pretty cool! The pink-faced monkey takes another look at his apple seed and then proceeds to scan the yellow crab's rice dumpling. Let's make a trade. I'll give you my apple seed if you give me your rice dumpling. Nah, I think I'm good. The pink-faced monkey serves a disgruntled look full of dissatisfaction. Think about what you can do with this seed. Once you plant it, it will grow and provide you a surplus of fruit. The yellow crab is hesitant. Meanwhile, that little rice dumpling of yours will only last a minute. Mm, I guess you're right. Fine, I'll trade. The yellow crab and the pink-faced monkey make a trade and soon part ways. The following spring, the yellow crab's apple seed has grown to its full potential, sprouting a large tree bearing delicious fruit. This is going to taste so delicious. The yellow crab approaches his tree with much excitement. He tries to climb up, but, but his small body was not enough to reach the fruit. The yellow crab walks up, telling the monkey about his development. Wow, that sounds amazing. Do you think you could help me get my apple fruit off the tree? Why, of course. In fact, I'll pick them all off for you. The pink-faced monkey and the yellow crab walk over to the apple tree. Instantaneously, the pink-faced monkey climbs up the tree and starts snacking on the precious fruit. Hey, what happened to our deal? The pink-faced monkey continues to eat the apple fruit. The remaining fruit is hard as a nail. The pink-faced monkey chucks the apple at the crab, shattering his exoskeleton, thus killing him. The pink-faced monkey looks around to see if anyone witnessed his awful deed. I better get out of here. Moments later, a younger crab enters the scene. He spots the shattered shell of the yellow crab. Dad? The young crab breaks down. He knew what he had to do. The night goes by as the young crab searches for help. I need your help. A monkey has taken advantage of my father and later killed him. You know this how? I know this because of the stories you tell me about his apple seed. So what do you have in mind? We trick him, and when the moment arises, I avenge my father. The monkey sits in his pine tree thinking of his accomplishments. Wow, I can't believe I got away with this. That was a smart idea. Such fools. I should probably stay hidden to keep clear, though. He walks among the crab settlement and overhears the young crabs gossiping. The young crab approaches the pink-faced monkey. My family and I would like to invite you to our father's celebrations. We know you two were friends. The crabs and the monkey commune at the festival. The monkey feels honored, praised as you will. The family of crabs gaze upon the monkey with bad intentions. The pink-faced monkey gets up from the table when suddenly the yellow crab scares him. The pink-faced monkey runs under the crab's gate, bumping into Mr. Mortar. The pink-faced monkey is now pinned. The young crab approaches him. With his sharp claws, he cuts the pink-faced monkey's head off, keeping his word. This is the story of the quarrel between the monkey and the crab.